this tutorial, we're going to see how to resolve a few common issues that can happen with old footage when trying to convert interlaced video to 720p in Premiere Pro. In this first example, we're dealing with 3-2 pulldown, which is putting 24 frames per second project into a 29.97 frames per second project. This results in some fields being duplicated to achieve the video rate of television. If the video was edited at 29.97, then the pull-down phase will be changing. Not to mention, there used to be DV cameras that recorded with pull-down too. There are many reasons this might happen in the days of analog videotape editing. If we want to restore a 24p project, in Premiere Pro, we can start by selecting the original clip, which is 2997, and go to the Sequence Settings in Modify, Interpret Footage, and turn off Fields by selecting Conform to No Fields in Field Order. We create a new sequence from clip and change the sequence settings to 23.976 and now add Fields Kit pulldown to our clip. We change field order to upper fields because that's what our original footage was and select remove 30 to 24 frames per second for 3-2 pulldown and upper fields. Now we need to animate the pulldown phase because in this example there was an edit at some point. You advance frames until you find a new change of pulldown phase. Go to the first frame of the change and select one of the first five phase options that makes the fields disappear. You need to set the key on the first frame and then advance four frames to see if all is good. If not, go back to the first frame and set to the next one until one works. This is really the only way to know which phase to select at this point. We just set a new keyframe each time we change the phase. This should do it. Then we just render. In this next example, we'll see how to convert original SD 480i footage to 480p and 720p. Our original footage is 480 interlaced and we want to convert it to 480 and 720 progressive footage. First we select the 480i clip in the project browser. We right mouse click and select interpret footage like we did in the last example. We select use pixel ratio from file and change the field order to no fields. Then we select the clip in the project bin again and choose New Sequence from Clip. We set the viewer to 100% and in the Display Viewer set Full for both playback and paused resolution so you can see what you're doing. We add Fields Kit deinterlace to our clip. In this 30p example for timing mode I choose one frame per frame here in this example. Since there are 59.94 fields in a second, or 50 in PAL, so we can do 30 or 60p without loss of quality just by choosing different methods. Since this is 30p, we choose the one frame per frame option. Fill method is best five neighbors. Detect motion, we use two frames compare. Detect method, small area. Here, by checking the View Motion Mask box, we can see what we're masking. It does not discard the other field where there is no motion. This is based on the motion tolerance value. We set the value at 0.28% instead of the default value of 35% as the actor moves his hand fast. We can set Smooth Vertically to 1.60 and Sharpen to 1.0. Now let's look at the 60p setup. We use the same source footage, but if we look at the sequence settings, we have 59.94 frames per second, and it's still 720 by 480 for the resolution. We added Fields Kit Deinterlacer, and we see that this time, for the timing mode, we chose two times FPS, one frame per field. We made the detect method large area, and the motion tolerance 0.28. We will use the 60p version to create the 720p example. We select the 60p clip in the project bin and we make a new sequence from clip. Next, we select the clip in the new timeline. We go to the sequence settings and set resolution to 1280 by 720 and pixel aspect ratio to 1 
Note that the 720p sequence is square pixels. This will be done correctly by Premiere on top of the 150% scale. We can use the motion controls in the effects panel to scale up to cover the width or height if you're okay with cropping, or less to have the letterbox since 720p has a different aspect ratio. Now the clip will be 720p and you can just export. These examples have addressed specific issues. You can refer to them as reference for your particular issue.